hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and this is the last session of this series so finally we have created all the you know first i create a project architecture with along with the you know user interface and then we create in you know, a domain layer then we have we have created actually that infrastructure layer then we have implemented application layer so all the layer is done now we have to implement you know then our ui to that uh, application layer okay so before moving first we have to understand like what are the content actually that user and user presentation layer so this layer interact with the user and handler handles the http request and response okay and it is depend the application layer and it's contain the controller view model and ui related components okay so it is depend like if you using a ui api so api or you know web application so like that but yeah uh, we'll later uh, we'll implement actually the many interface like this is a web api but we'll implement mbc a web application then we'll implement a blazor web application okay so also we'll create a, a console user interface okay so that how we can interact in our this clean architecture every application so that you can understand okay so that would be a next lesson or the future lessons lessons okay so now let's get started so before that actually we have implement everything okay so let's first rebuild again rebuild okay so that we can make sure okay everything is built or compiled okay so this is built okay let's zoom out okay and uh, just this one so let's zoom in and now what we can do we have to uh, implement okay so first what can do we can delete the default one okay so default that weather forecast or weather forecast controller okay okay so here one actually before we start first we have to uh, resolve some dependency okay so what is the dependency so dependency we can call over here actually like see we have created many layer okay so many layer has a you know the all the layer has a own dependency like this block context okay so block context and you know, dependent on this you know block repository implementation and also that uh, block repository also we have inject in our you know application so those are dependency we have to resolve so in uh, in our api or you know .NET core this is a great feature give us for this you know resolve the dependency uh, in the program.cs file so here the container we can just resolve the dependency so first dependency of our dp context so first what we can do we can just resolve the dependency of the db context so let's get started for that so uh okay let's so let's bring the code because this is a little bit long line okay so that i don't want to waste the time because i already explained this you know how we can api created api and how we can you know that uh, uh, resolve the dependency in other videos for the beginner okay so you can go and check out my youtube channel so let's bring that okay so i use the builder services at db context okay and this add db context actually resolve our dependency for that db context okay and this is our that name db context name so what we can do we have to you know adding some you know some reference okay so just add reference add reference of that domain application layer and infrastructure layer so it is not a dependent on the you know, domain layer it, it is not a reference adding for this uh, ui okay so just call it's application layer application talk actually the infrastructure layer okay the outer layer so let's add it okay and one more thing we have to add it the tools but uh, that tools yeah one more tools actually that uh, entity framework tool so that we can execute that add update migrations okay so let's bring that name space as well entity framework tools so framework core where is the tool find the tools 
tools tools tool just looking for tools okay let's aim the tool okay so see here the entity framework the tool install and that is done okay so let's save it program okay now see it is there and now bring that uh, db context class okay so this is that bring this is the namespace okay and they are actually contain that our block db context and using this one so again bring the namespace of sqlite of that entity framework code okay that is sufficient and also what need to do we have to create another one connections okay so that db connection so where i can do that go to app dot settings and here we can create our db connection so let's create a db connections okay so copy paste it over here okay so this is i mentioned that connection string and then block db context okay copy state that and make sure like it is same for here okay and also i just first trying to connect if it is not then throw the exception so this is one which is done okay this one is done now we have to uh, you know resolve dependency for this blog repository as well as the service repository so how we can do that simply builder services dot add transients there's a three mechanism to register so this time i will use based on your uh, preference so i will use that i blog repository and uh, blog repository okay that implementation so that is done then again at transient okay so i blog services then blog service okay so that is done something is the problem okay the db not context okay it is a log repository okay so why my mistake so just change it to this so this is done and then bring them namespace yes the repository okay this is fine okay this is done so let me rebuild and make sure everything is working as that there is no yeah see this is the rebuild okay so now the last things we have to pending just migration okay so how we can do the migration so that our db can create it our, our data so go to tools go to nuget package manager and open that package manager console or you can go to package console direct here as well okay so what you have to do just try to migrate like add add migrate add uh, migration so add mig and just tab so that you can give, see there's a whole name is command name is there the initiate any cl shell one okay then start definitely i will get a error okay so that's because because i know this is error that's why i not resolve because definitely when you try so definitely you will get this error and then so let's zoom it so that you can understand what is that okay what is saying it is saying the clean axis api does not match your migration assembly clean dot infrastructure okay so our migration context is where in this here clean architecture project so what you need to do just change our project name over here so here actually our migration is there so let's add again it one more time and now see it is success and you will see uh, entity is there table is there and uh, also if you go to there so see this is generating this is also generating okay and now final command you have to do update database so update tab database and then hit okay so now this is done okay it is generating and also you to see see the db also generating okay so oh sorry so let one more time 
and control C. See, DB generated. Okay, if you want to make sure like how the table is generating or not, let's open your SQLite DB tools or you can go to Visual Studio. Okay, or oh, not Visual Studio, VS Code, or you can check it. Okay, remove this one. Okay, and then add whatever our uh, source path. So go to there, clean architecture. So go to there, open folder path explorer, and our data is there. Open here. and change it to folder okay so that yeah see this is that one which is we just created select open and just double click and see our data is our column our table is created okay so as of now we can check there should not nothing okay and now now we have to implement actually okay so our controller because the migration or structure everything is stable so now dependence also resolved so now we have to implement and use that uh, application service okay so how we can do that controller api and use the add controller use that controller name application or uh, it is a blog and then add okay so now controller is ready just inject I already explained everything this API how we can control how we can create a controller uh, directly without writing a code or also the one by one like get post delete everything so go to my videos also check out now create a controller it here and uh, go to a play application copy this one okay because this we need to inject and we can use it and then injected and uh, just bring that initiate initial initiate that uh, services okay. and now okay now okay so now we can inject it also so now we can just you know create all the endpoints okay so that we can do very easily already everything explained so right now i'm not going to you know great details just i just copy paste so that i can quickly we can as quick as much we can create it all the endpoints okay so this is get endpoint just inject service and get the get that method similar to get y id and similar to create similar to put okay and similar to delete okay so this is done okay so it is very straightforward like i initially inject and that in initialize that object and then let's call all the method okay this is fine and uh, let's get run our application let's first before that rebuild and then start and test it like it is working ever expected or not okay uh, okay yes so now it is done and now see our is api is exposing and now just try execute see there's a no data also we can debug very easily so let's bring that debugger point over here uh, it one more time okay uh, it one more time debugger point is there okay so see is there 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 is a no block okay also it will call where it's will call it will go to implement if you go to implementation it is call the block services okay then block service call to our uh, 
repository okay so like this way actually flow is working now it's nothing and now trying to post some data so that we can make sure our uh, add update delete everything functionality is working so test one okay just execute test two just execute okay, and now check it execute okay now this time check yeah now it's two data is available from the dv and i can get it from there see okay so now expected i think the every method will work there's a no issue okay now let me check in dv as well like the data is getting pop it's storing as db as not so see the data is db as well okay so this is a very clean architecture this is a clean or you know basic for the basic so that you can uh, easily try to learn so that the next time when i come you know with this you know advanced topic of the clean architecture so you can understand very well okay like how we can initially we have created and what is that actually and finally the next session will come with you know how we can create a uh, how we can create you know docker image and docker container so that we can you know deploy very easily to our you know server okay so as a microservice we can use it like if i create a docker file okay so that also will create very you know minimal step without writing anything so keep watching thank you have a nice day and uh, don't forget to subscribe